Daniel, it's so great that we decided to get married. Mandy, I'm not marrying you. Yes, you are. Let's start the ceremony. Why are you laughing? Administrator Mandy, do you agree to love Camille? Wash his socks, cook him goodies, and massage his ears? I do. Camille, do you agree to love Mandy? Carry her in your arms? Give her expensive gifts and take her to the most expensive island? No, of course not! What are you talking about? He agrees. Then let this be a day to remember for the rest of your lives. Will you cut it out? Get to the point! Exchange rings? Are you stupid? No. No rings. Get to the kissing. Ah, uh, then I now pronounce you man and wife. The groom may kiss the bride. I told you you'd be mine. No, Mandy, please don't. No, Mandy, no. Come here. Ah, oh, that was a nightmare. Camille, aren't you packed yet? You're going to make me late for school. Amina, guess what? I had such a stupid dream. Mandy and I got married. Married to Mandy? What if it wasn't a dream and you and Mandy actually got married? Amina, what are you talking about? I don't believe in dreams. Hurry up, pack up, and let's go to school. You should have dreamt this. Soon you'll be mine. Ha! <laughs> Mandy, why are you kissing Emil's picture? He's not your boyfriend. He'll be mine soon. Have you seen this one? What's this, Mandy? What is it? What? You don't see the book I ordered online? How to make someone love you in three days. I need a picture of him, his clothes, and his hair. <laughs> Does it really work? Oh, it works. When Camille becomes my boyfriend, the whole campus will be jealous. Oh, Mandy, can I borrow that book later? Of course not. You want a book like that? Go buy it yourself. Hey, hey Mandy. Mandy. Hey, Chuck. Amina, wait. Have you seen Camille? No, we haven't. Dang, Steph. You know how much you're making me mad right now? You could have just kept your mouth shut and stayed out of my business. Come on, Mandy. No, I can't. Steph, I'd put you on my blacklist right now, but I don't have time for this nonsense. Why don't you give me that book? No, stop it. What are you so busy doing, Mandy? Unlike some people, I'm doing something very important. Mandy, I bought a whole book on the internet to cast a spell on Camille. Chuck, can't you keep your big mouth shut for once? I'm going to tell Mr. Max you're sleeping on the job again. Mandy, stop. You don't have to tell Teacher Max anything. You guys didn't see anything. How long is she going to stand there? Oh no, you guys. Guess my tights ripped again. I just bought them yesterday. That's why I wear socks instead of tights. If you decide to, you can do stretching. And I can do that too, you know. Girls, how long is this nerd going to stand there and listen to our conversation? Panka, are you waiting for someone? Yes, I am, Mr. Max. I think she's lying. She's just wondering what we're talking about. Oh, Mr. Max, I've been looking for you. Panka, hurry up. I don't have much time. Did you happen to find my English book? I accidentally forgot it in class. Is it yours? I found it. Don't lose it again. Mr. Max, you're so resourceful. So kind. Thank you, Panka. It's my pleasure. Isn't it a pleasure? That's it. I'm out of here. Is it just me? Or is that nerd girl in love with Mr. Max? Anyway, we should go to the nightclub this weekend. There's going to be a lot of cool girls there. Duck, they won't let us into the club. They don't let you in the club until you're 21. They'll let us into the club. I'll make a deal with security. Yeah, I know what you'll do. Last time we stood outside the club till morning waiting for your friend, the security guard. Yeah, he'll make a deal. A chump. I got a better plan this time. Duck, what do you need a marker for? We're going to draw a mustache and beard. It'll make us look older. The guards won't even think we're teenagers. Hey, Benz. Why don't you draw me a mustache? I really want to go to the club. I'll do it. Man, I'm not doing that. You'll want to to go to the club. Oh, that's a good kid. You look about 25 years old. 
Fence, it's your turn. Great workout, guys. I say we train like this every day. I'm all for it. Me too. Hey, Camille. Hello, Mandy. Oh, hey, Mandy. How was your practice? You'd think it'd be so interesting. Mandy, check it out. I got three three-pointers today. Puzzle, I don't care about you or your three-pointers. Camille, do you want me to wash your practice uniform? My practice uniform? Oh, Mandy, then wash mine. Nice, you wash your own stinking uniform. What am I, a laundromat? No way, Mandy's got a crush on you. She's even willing to wash your uniform. Thanks, Mandy, but I can wash my own uniform somehow. No, I'll wash your uniform. And Camille, I wanted to tell you, your hair is so beautiful. I wish I had hair like that. What are you doing? It hurts. Sorry, Camille. I went to wash my uniform, so... Crazy. Funny. Did you know that all humans are descended from monkeys? What is this nonsense? You're the nerd who descended from a monkey, and I'm descended from a human. Goofy, are you descended from monkeys or humans? Of course I'm a human. You, Bubble, are descended from a beaver. Well, you're gonna answer for the beaver. I'm gonna break your glasses. Break them. Here, buy new ones. What do you think? I won't break them? You ain't got the guts. Bubble, move over. Anyway, guys, I think I'm in love. What? Who, Ponka? Mr. Max, he's so tall. Ponka, are you out of your mind? You can't fall in love with the teachers. How is it my fault? It just happened out of nowhere. I lost the book, he found it, and I fell in love. What's the big deal? You're my friend. You could have actually supported me. Did you know that all humans descended from monkeys? Fresh, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in your primates right now. You guys look. I look good with the beard. Man, I see myself on camera. I feel like I'm 41 instead of 21. Why did you draw that stupid beard on me? Beard? You could have just left a mustache. It's a normal beard, dude. We're just trying to get into the club. Well, don't tell Laura we're going to the club or I'll be in big trouble. Why are you telling me this? Tell him. Do you understand me? I'm going to be in big trouble. I got it. I got it. Hey, boys. Hey, girls. Did you draw a mustache and a beard on yourself with a marker? Yeah, yeah, my caramel. I'm trying to look a little older for you. You like that, Pence? Olive, do you like my beard? Honestly, you guys look like losers. You better wash that off. We can't wash it off because we have to get into the club so the security guards will let us in. What? Benz, what club? Duck, what are you talking about? What club? I only did this to make myself look older. You're going to a club without me? No way! Go wash that stupid mustache off! Hey, you guys want to go to the club together? I'm sorry, but no. Damn it, Doug. Why'd you leak Benz? Great. All the teenagers are gone. I won't be interrupted. Okay, to cast a spell on your crush. You say, crush be mine, three times. Easy peasy. Crush be mine, crush be mine, crush be mine, crush be mine. Oh, Mandy's on the floor reading a book. Actually, you have to knock. Mandy, what's going on? Why do you have a t-shirt and a picture of my brother in front of you? This is weird. I do what I want. I don't have to answer to you. What are you doing here anyway? Go home. Class has been over for a long time. We're not leaving here until we get Camille's stuff back. What are you up to? What I'm up to is what I'm up to. Fine, take Camille's things. He'll be mine soon anyway. Because I've ordered a book on the internet, How to Cast a Spell on Your Crush in Three Days. She's really crazy and wants to cast a spell on Camille. Do you think she can do it? I hope not. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell and wait for new episodes. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.